In this video, we're going to explore counting again, but we're also going to start to introduce that relationship of counting, addition and subtraction and subtraction and really show your child that there is a relationship between these operations and we're going to again do it in a very practical way using things that you would have around the house and we're going to use our favorite cereal Cheerios mm -hmm. and we're going to do some counting and some addition and subtraction so James can you please get me five Cheerios okay. and put them on our mat one two three Okay, at this point, this is where we want to bring in that element of addition. What if you added one more, James? How many would you have? Six. Right, let's check. Add one more. And you check to see if you have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Using concrete objects actually helps your child visualise because James is already starting to interpret and is really starting to predict that adding one more is going to give him six and then he's using his objects to double check. Okay, so you've got how many? Six. Okay, what would happen if you took one away? How could you take one away? Eight. Oh my goodness! <laughs> How many would you have left? Five again. Five again. Okay, right, this time I want you to make me a set of seven. Okay. One, two. Put them on your mat. One, two. Good. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and this time I want you to make me another set with a smaller number than seven. What's a smaller number than seven? One! Okay, put one over there. Again, really using this little activity to foster that understanding between different numbers and really starting to really boost that mathematical vocabulary. Okay, so you've got a set of one and you've got a set of seven. Which one has more? Okay, which one has less? Which one is the smaller number? One! Okay, what if you did seven take away two? Could you do that? Yep. Okay. <gasps> How many would you have left? Five. I'm really encouraging your child as well to actually point or touch the objects as they count to really ensure that they're really beginning to understand that one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, which one is bigger now? Which set is bigger now? The pile! Okay, <laughs> how could you, with this pile, how could you make it the same or equal to this pile? What would okay. you, what could you do? Eat it! What does eating mean the same as? Taking a... Way. Okay, how many are you going to take away? One, two, three, four. Okay, off you go. So as you can see, just really starting to foster that relationship between addition, subtraction, counting, more, less, all of those lovely mathematical vocabulary, you really want to be fostering that with your child and getting them to really understand the, rela the relationship between these different operations. So have you got equals now? Yeah. This is equal and this is equal? Yeah. Okay, how would you get to zero? Eight both of them! <laughs> okay, so as you can see, a really fun way and a little treat incentive as well that's not too bad for them. And again, again, a really interactive, proactive, fun activity with stuff that's just around the house.